Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about how to make a vegan mashed potato casserole or also known as a shepherd's pie. Here I'm just showing you how I cut my potatoes. I cut them um, in as small chunks as I can. Why? I do this to remove the starch. So I wash my potatoes before I cut them, after I'm done cutting them, and then when they are done boiling. So diets high in starch are linked to higher risk of diabetes, heart disease, and weight gain. So it's good that you try to limit how much white potato you eat. It's better to eat sweet potato. But anyways, we are eating a white potato, so that's why we're washing it and cutting it as much as we can. So here we're gonna get our potatoes ready to boil. We're gonna put some filtered water in the pot. I always put some salt just for taste, and then the potato should boil for 20 to 25 minutes. Once the potatoes are ready, they should look like this. Add your plant-based milk of choice. I added almond milk, and then your vegan butter. I just added a chunk. You can use whatever you want to mash up the potatoes, just make sure. I like my potatoes kind of creamy-ish, I guess. Um, so I'm just here mashing them up. You're gonna add any spices that you want. In my potatoes, I try to add garlic, salt, pepper, and of course, turmeric. You could put rosemary, anything that you like, whatever is your go-to traditional mashed potato, that's what you're going to make. Once you are done making those wonderful mashed potatoes, you are now going to move on to your vegetables and the base of your meat, quote unquote. I'm just um, putting some avocado oil in my pot. You can use whatever oil that you want. Next we're going to cut up half of a medium sized onion. I put mine in the food processor. Cut it up to the size that you like. I like my onion smaller. I just feel like it flows better in my food. Um, if I'm not eating tacos or something like that, I don't really want to feel the chunkiness of the onion. But once your onions are browned up, you're next going to move on to your um, red pepper, a red bell pepper. I cut, I puree the red bell pepper kind of like a sauce or as small as you can. You're going to let it cook. Don't worry about the bottom of the pan being brown because as you could see, once you put in your pepper, the juices are just going to pick up. Um, that seasoned onion that's on the bottom of the pot and it's just going to turn into a mix. Add a one tablespoon and a half of garlic. You can use fresh garlic. I use minced garlic that I already have in a jar. Mix that up and let that cook. Once your peppers start to look like this and they're cooked down, you're going to cut up a zucchini and a yellow squash. I cut them up in this size. You don't want them too big, you don't want them too small because they are going to shrink in size once they are cooked. So just throw that in a pot. I use one whole zucchini and then one whole squash. Let that cook on medium heat. Once they are cooked, you're gonna move on to your meat. You can use any um, vegan meat or plant-based meat of your choice. If you don't wanna use plant-based meat, you can cut up mushrooms and very finely and throw them in and they can be your meat base as well. So I use half of that package. This is a lot. Um, so don't use the whole thing of meat unless you're cooking for four plus people. So just, let the meat cook um try to break down your vegetables you can i kind of like not i don't know what the term is but i like not stab them but i move the spoon around and kind of break apart everything and try to get it in i guess a uniform size now it's time to move on to our spices i'm using again black pepper garlic I am going to throw in turmeric that you didn't see. I put in turmeric in everything. So that is what your meat should look like and your vegetables cooked. You're going to get your casserole. Wow, that looks so good, guys. I don't know about you guys, but that would be a really good um, taco mix as well. But anyways, we're getting off track. So you're going to put your meat and vegetable base in the bottom of your casserole dish. Spread it out evenly, that way the bottom of the dish you can no longer see. 
once you have your meat placed in your uh, casserole dish you're going to get your mashed potatoes ready so you're gonna take them and again evenly spread them out I stored them in the oven while we were waiting that way to keep them hot I did use the same pan just easier for me and I love that pot that I have so just spread out your mashed potatoes across your casserole I use a fork to help squish it down if you use the spoon it is going to get stuck to the spoon so you're just going to use the fork and push it down the best that you can and then keep adding mashed potato as you go don't put all the mashed potatoes in and then do this because you may have too much mashed potato in there so do it step by step step by step or spoonful by spoonful and make sure to close up any gaps that you have that are showing our meat vegetable base. Once you have your mashed potatoes spread out evenly, it is time to pop it in the oven. You're gonna put it in the oven on 350 degrees, cover it with foil. Now it's gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. It's gonna come out looking like this. We're now gonna put our choice of vegan cheese on there. This is vegan mozzarella cheese that I got from Trader Joe's. So just sprinkle that on top. You can do more, you can do less. You could do um, cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. You could do whatever choice of cheese that you want, whatever you have in your fridge. I happen to have this mozzarella cheese here. After you have taken it out of the oven, it should like look like this. Vegan cheese or this one doesn't melt that good. However, this is what your final product should look like. I hope you loved it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.